Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look on how to update the EG418 KPV through the mobile app. So first you can check your firmware version by going to device info under settings on the unit itself. We're currently on OCOD and we have a lowercase f. So back on our mobile phone, you want to make sure you're logged out, you're on the front screen of the app. You'll click download firmware and it'll pop up with the latest uh, firmware to uh, be downloaded for your 18 KPV. So go ahead and click download, and you'll see those check marks pop up. I already had it downloaded, which is why they were there. Then you want to go into your Wi-Fi network, and we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi dongle. Now the way you can update goes through the Wi-Fi dongle, so if you don't have that, you'll need to do something else. Uh, we can look over a couple other methods, but for now you want to connect to your Wi-Fi dongle, and then you'll go to connect, device, and update, TCP connect. Then we'll go to set, and there'll be a big update firmware button. We'll click that, and it will automatically have the two firmwares that you need to use to update your inverter. So we'll go ahead and click update firmware, and we'll give it a second to see. Okay, now our inverter is in the update stage. Let's give it another second. Make sure it's transmitting properly. Okay, yes. Uh, so your phone will actually show the progress bar uh, in real time, the same as your inverter. This is just the transmission side. So if something fails, you can just turn the system down or turn it off and turn it back on again and start from scratch. Um, the actual update itself happens inverter side after the transmission. So we're good to go for now. All right, we got about 10 seconds left on the second firmware's cooldown. Our inverter's restarted, but we do need to go ahead and do the second firmware. Let's see if it goes through. All righty, we see that the firmware update has failed. This does happen from time to time, even when it, you've done all the steps correctly. Uh, you just press OK and try to update the firmware again. You wanna make sure that you're still connected to the dongle itself. Uh, if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or something like that, that will also cause it to fail. We see it failed again. We'll give it one more shot. Uh, if that fails one more time though, then we may need to kind of start from scratch. Okay, there we go. Now the update went through. Let's check our inverter. Now we're at about 2% and that one's gonna start counting up as well. Again, this is a transmission time. So if your phone disconnects, uh, your power goes out, your inverter isn't able to stay online, um, it's okay. When you start it back up again, you can start from scratch and your inverter will be just fine. Alrighty, so the firmware is just about transmitted. Once it gets to 100 on the second firmware, generally goes you know, pretty instantaneously back to the uh, LCD screen, uh, doesn't do the whole uh, process of installation. It doesn't take as long as the other one, so it'll be there in just a moment. And we can see on our phone that the firmware update was successful, so we can click OK, and on mobile we're now good to go. We can disconnect and there won't be any problems. Back on our inverter, we can go to our device info once again, and we'll see that we are now on lowercase f, a, a, b, o, d, o, e. So the firmware update was a success, and that's all you gotta do. Now if you have a cell modem, then the best way to update your firmware is through your distributor. Um, and if you don't have either a Wi-Fi dongle or a cell dongle, then you'll need to contact your distributor about doing the local update, which will be uh, separate. So thank you so much for watching. That's all you gotta do. Uh, see you next time.